I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose is to test your instincts by doing a Charleston exercise in two iterations, focusing on plan A and plan B. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do two iterations. The first will be for plan A. The second will be for plan B. We're going to be the dealer for both. I'm going to get our dealt hand and then create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a joker, east, west, south, pair of souths, a white dragon. Then in bams, we have one, four, eight with a pair of fours. And we have two, five in cracks, two, eight in dots. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A? And what would be your plan B? If these were my tiles, plan A would be wins and dragons. We do have a multiple with a four, and there is a like number hand, plus there's a hand with a short run. So I would keep the pair of fours. There is some potential for a year hand also. And there is a wind year hand under the year category. So I think I would probably start by passing those. I think plan A would be wins and dragons, and then plan B could be two, four, six, eight. The reason for that is we have no six. We do have twos and eights, and even a pair of fours, but we have no six. That would be a gap. So anytime there's a gap for a given category, I would lower that as a choice. So let's pass these and see what happens. But we first need to take a photo so we can recreate this. Let's pass these three. We're gonna take a photo of that. We did get another four. And we have eights and a seven. I think I would let a two go, one of each suit. We'll take a photo there. I would just keep gathering. Four multiple here. So I think I would do one of each suit again. Take a photo. We've got wins. Now we have two tiles to pass. I don't like passing like numbers. I think because we have three multiples with news, we could either do, let's see, I think I would give up on the fours actually and keep the two for maybe the concealed year hand or just wins and dragons. Now here we have, we have um, like numbers. I would not pass that. We did right across left. Some people might stop the Charleston here. I would not. I would probably keep going and give up this two and pass one of each suit. Let's take a photo. So
so we have news. Let's pass these three here. Let's take a photo. We did pick up another multiple. Maybe we could play the pair hand with news. We'd have to let this go. We would need more jokers too. Are not jokers, dragons. I meant dragons. Let's pass these three. Take a photo. We do have tiles to pass. We'll do one of each suit. I would keep this for that potential concealed year hand. So we have three discards focused on wins. Let's redo this and focus on two, four, six, eight and compare results. started with we're going to build around 2468 we may or may not be able to use that dragon let's break up the south pass these three we got an eight and a four keep all evens anything that can be used in that category now here we have two tiles to pass safely. I try not to pass two wins together. There are singles, pairs, and big hands for wins. So I don't want to pass two together. So I would look at these to see if there's something we can let go of. So we have a four, we have a two, four, eight, four. We still have no six. I think I would probably, let's see, we have a 2-8 matching dragon. Let's see here, what would I let go of? Probably the, no, because we have a pair and an 8 there. And then a 2-4, a lot of 2-4s go together in that category. So I think I would let this 2 go. There's a 2-bam, so now we have 2-4-8. And here we have wins again. I would not pass two together. I'd break up the east. So here we have two, four, two, four, eight, two, four, eight, pair of eights. Let's see, what about the concealed hand? Pair of eights, two, four, eight, two, four. Maybe let the two go. We have two, four, eight, or two, four, six, eight, and one suit. Hmm, concealed hand, maybe. Let's see. With the multiples, two, four, six, eight. It'd be nice if we could get a, a red dragon. Let's see, two, four, four, six, eight. There's this right here, two, four, four, six, eight, two, four, four, six, eight. So I think or maybe we could do two, four, four, six, eight. Let the two go. All right, let's let the two go. Oh my goodness, wins. Wow, look, 
okay, two, four, eight, two, four, four, six, like this, two, four, four, six, eight, or two, four, six, eight. We need sixes. Let's break up that west. We got a four dot. That's really not helpful, but we could pass a wind. We'll keep going. We got a two. Oh, a white dragon. Okay, now we have two, four, six, eight dragons. Again, we need a six in there. We do have northeast and nine, two, four, I think I would let the four crack go because we have a gap, no six crack. Either way, we have a gap, but we could still use this for the six dot. Let's pass these. Okay, we got an eight bam. Let's just keep the eight bam and pass these for optional cross. East and a five. Three discards and a category. I would not pick a hand here. We have a multiple here with four. I think I would just start by discarding that. I think I think wins was the way to go with these tiles. This was a challenge. And two, four, six, eight. It can be challenging because the numbers have to be right to fit a hand on the card. And I think that these particular tiles just didn't lend nicely to the combinations this year. So I think the wind category was much better for these tiles. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange it so that you can get the lay of the land, then target multiples. If you don't have multiples, look for the predominant pattern build around the strength. Because there's so much flexibility with American Mahjong, you may have a plan A and a plan B. Do this exercise to test your instincts. If you need a set of tiles at home, look for a link in the video description below for one I highly recommend. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.